Hi everyone, I'm Jessica. What's up guys, I'm Lizzie. And this is a very special episode. This is something we haven't done before. It's all about the wipes. So I posted on my social media on Instagram and I said, yo, tell me your, your wipes stories. There's so many stories. I haven't looked at them yet. Lizzie's looked at them. A she couple of them. They nasty. <laughs> We're gonna they look nasty. at these wipe stories and see which wipes work for the story. Now, as you know, it's The Honest Company. I founded The Honest Company. So the values that uh, we have at The Honest Company is to be transparent about everything that's inside the product. Um, so you will see everything uh, listed here on the package. We really hold ourselves at a high standard because we know we're just trying to do our best for the planet and for people. So we got alcohol wipes. We got dry wipes. We just launched these suckers. We got our traditional wipes. Now our traditional wipes, I think they're the best ever. They are made with over 99% water and they are a plant-based wipe. We have a couple of patterns that the wipes come in. So the Rose Blossom Pattern Play and the iCat. And then we also have the Pattern Play. These are amazing because they're 36 count. You want more than 10 but you don't always want to carry around a 72 count, so it's nice having this 36 count. Amazing. So we asked community online to give us their best nightmares, experiences. <laughs> their wish it never happened. Situations. Their stories. Let's read some. This is gonna be so, great. So from J Hughes 0818, okay. she said, when your kid is throwing up or gagging, you cup your hand in front of their mouth. Ooh. Do your kids bar barf? Uh, it has happened before and it's disgusting. My kids, I almost feel like it's their favorite thing to do to me. That's Is gross. to just barf. All of my kids have done it. But it you haven't, you haven't worst. picked up on the triggers yet? No, not when they're babies because they each have their own face and every time I'm surprised. I have amnesia that the last kid did it. Every time the new kid comes, and projectiles on my face. That's like labor. It's amnesia. It's you forget. Just you forget how hard so it is. So awful. So little tidbit. I don't know if y'all know this, but my kids get car sick. Mm. And I'm not just talking about after like three <coughs> hours in the car. No. I'm talking about five minutes. No max. way. Going to school drive is six minutes. They bo they barf. No way. Honor is such a champion now. She's silent. What are you feeding kids for breakfast, honey? No, it doesn't matter what time of day. It's unbelievable. So we went Ooh. on this road trip, and Hazy, I don't take him out much. I think oh. I think that's. I decided with the third kid to just not take him out. This fool. He has a great life. Don't let her this fool you. This fool. He goes. I'm full, mommy. Uppies, uppies. I'm full. I'm full. And he's like uppies, and I'm like. I'm like, no, you have to stay in your car seat. It's not safe. You have to be in your car seat. We're in a car, like it was an RV, but like, and he just booted before we even started the road trip. We weren't even on the freeway yet. And then Haven went and then Honor. Wait a minute, break that down though. He booted. What what type of terminology? What, what does that mean? Well, booted means he just barked. And then now I'm like dealing with barf on the seat belt, in between the crevices, on his clothes, on the floor. This good mom, J Hughes 0818, she's her instinct is to catch it, catch the baby's pukies in her hand. And what was your instinct? I run the other. I run to the back of the RV, and I act carried. How is that my instinct? And then I'm like, mm, I can't, I can't catch him. So what what are you grabbing in that situation? Which so, wipe are you what grabbing? did I grab? What did you Let grab? Let me tell you. Tell us. I pick up the chunks, uh, the warm chunks. With your hand? With oh. the regular standard issue wipe, 1, which is thick and wide. Yeah. Then Whew. I go in Good job. with the alcohol wipe. That's my step. Wiped all the th his hands, my hands, Everyone's many hands times, wiped. many hands times. Hands are getting wiped. And if I was her, and I actually was a good person, mom, and I caught my child's barf, I may barf myself. And catch it or no? Nope, okay. nope. I don't okay. know if I'd have that much control. Mm. All right, so let's see here. 
Vicky Crossan says, potty training. I have never used so many wipes or sanitizer in my life. Is that how you feel about potty training? Potty training, wipes is a big thing. Because why do you think she uses hand sanitizer? I'll tell you exactly why she Walk does. us through it because I haven't potty trained a child in eight years. Yeah, but you're about seven to start. years. You're getting ready. You're you're gearing up. Kalik is being potty trained, and when I tell you that there is constant hmm, mishaps is the maybe correct word on camera to use, uh, that he constantly does. So because So he of that, wipes his boo-boo with his hand? No, Kalik has not done that because he knows he pee -pee the consequence of that might not be his best friend. So, because when it happens, though, he may not use it. He's never wiped with his hand, but he will pee just on the floor, clean Wait, he's pooped up. on the floor? No, but you know what? Nyla has pooped in a bathtub before. All my kids poop in bathtubs. It's like the most relaxing place. But when he does do it, the hand sanitizer is not necessarily for him. It's for you. Mm. Because as she's getting in there and she's scrubbing and cleaning up stuff with the wipes, catching booty, she's even cleaning up the floor, oh, she's picking right. things up, okay. we're wiping up pee on him You're saying picking things up a floor. lot, which means, you know what I mean. Her but kids on the ground. If it happens, it happens. Then you're going in once again with those alcohol wipes and you're doing all this mm. all over the hands. That The final step is the alcohol wipe. 1,000% because you're the parent and you're getting into those creases and, like, and yeah. it's big kid creases, so it's like... Yeah, it's like... It's, when, a, it's like on another it's level. It's big kid creases. That means that their bowel movements are now closer to yours. They're exactly the same. So I, I just have something to say here. Like, I remember when my little cousin, Matt Mark, I remember Damn, it was she like... Gave full names, y'all. It was like Matt Mark, when he was being potty trained, it was like, oh, he, he would ask to like wet the toilet paper or he still needed to use the wipe, but like everyone couldn't wait for that to not be a step anymore and for him just to use the regular toilet paper. Mm -hmm. I don't think people grow out of wipes. Use baby wipes? A hundred percent. Breaking news. You don't use wipe, wipes on your butt when you go doo-doo? You just have doo-doo doo -doo smear <laughs> on you all day long? Standard, standard bowel movement. Healthy standard bowel movement. Just, no. just a regular toilet paper. You know what I will say? What is it? There are certain circumstances where wipes for adults are very easy. I mean, you're just getting so those totally that different. last bit. It's just that last wipe just to make sure you're, you're clean. clean. I think I just blew your mind. Oh, you blew something. That's for sure. So this is a kid's story. How do you keep your kids clean when they eat? Yeah. You don't. Yeah. You don't. Kids are not going to be clean when they eat, but you always do a wipe down. Yes. This is, frankly, this is why I did the designs because we have them out on the counter. We have them in the kitchen. We have them next to Hazy's high chair and Haven's high chair. I mean, when she was a baby. So that's why I wanted to have these designs because frankly, these aren't as cute when they're just out on the counter, but these, you know, they can work. Hands. Yes. Get the face. Just get everything. Do you prefer when your kids eat with no shirt on? Not like, you know, like babies and kids. Like, you know, toddlers. Sometimes we like when Kalik has no shirt on when he eats. Because Kalik doesn't wear bibs. Oh, Hayes wears bibs. Kalik would never wear bibs. Yeah, we don't give, we don't give Hayes a choice. Yeah. It's just part of the routine. The bib. You, you want to eat? Put on the you bib. You got the bib. Go. But we get, you have those like cute, like silicone bibs and he got the bib. The food falls in. Usually he goes in and grabs a little <laughs> of what fell out of his mouth. Wrong. Whatever didn't make it. Yeah, oh, oh, I'll take that. No, usually it's like I'll a full that. meal in there. <laughs> Let's see here. 19 Asia 86 says her biggest thing to use some sort of wipe with is diving into a garbage bin. Has your kid ever dived into a garbage bin? I'm gonna have to say I have not had that experience. What? What's in the garbage? And which garbage was it? Was it the bathroom garbage? They probably lost their retainer. One hundred percent. I threw away my retainer many times, and is not diving into the garbage bin. Yes. Are you kidding? That is expensive. The worst was when it would happen at school. Those garbage bins were giant, and I would be like, "Oh God." So I you're hate. diving in after your retainer in the garbage bin at school. I have done that a few times. Hell no. Yeah. It's Bing. lost. I'm sorry, yeah, mom. It was bad. Listen, we got some things to talk about. Yeah. And one of them is today at school, 
I lost my retainer in a garbage can and I wasn't going after it. For kids who lose their retainer in the garbage, I would use alcohol wipes, 100% use alcohol wipes. The Zach Pack says, our cat threw up. I didn't notice until our robot vacuum dragged the vomit everywhere. Oh no. <laughs> That Return so the cat. <laughs> no! Cat, okay, I hate cats. You cannot get rid of it. If it's a family cat and now it's mm. in your home, that is ice Sorry. cold. You need a pet cleaner that gets the carpet. And then after that, use an alcohol wipe on your hands. Constant runny nose while teething. It's the worst feeling. It me. sucks. If they have the like crusty boogies, you kind of have to use the regular wipe, I think. And you just like dig up in there and like pull out all the crust. But if it's just like the, the wet runny, you use the dry wipe. Mm -hmm. What's nice about this, and especially little babies who have the runny nose and their skin is so, so sensitive, you could even take the dry wipe and you can dip it in just a little bit of water mm -hmm. and then wipe it and then use the dry side to like dry it off. Yeah. And then I would even use the all-purpose balm and put it just a little bit under their nose. But my baby's definitely got the runny nose and diarrhea whenever they teeth or they were teething. All of them, it's just the way it is. Yeah. What's nice about the all-purpose balm as well is you can put it on their tushy. What Jessica would call a twofer. And if they are experiencing a diaper rash, because that often happens when they diarrhea a lot, which is normal when they're teething, I would recommend using the organic dry wipes and just using a little bit of water also on their tushy. So mm -hmm. you're at the hospital. Mm -hmm. They never use regular wipes on the babies. I would say for right. the first month, my baby's got like gauze, mm -hmm. which usually the gauze is made, not made from cotton. And it's usually made from some type of polyester. So this is really why we wanted to create these organic cotton dry wipes because there really wasn't like a great wipe for that newborn baby tushy because the babies are so sensitive and they're so, so new. This is so much better because it is organic cotton. It's super soft. It does have like the nice quilting mm -hmm. and you can wet it as much as you want or as little as you want. So when I brought my babies home from the hospital, I didn't give them baths right away. I would give them, I would rub them down with oils or something like that so you could easily put some sort of like oil on this too and also rub the baby's skin. We waited oh, wow. a really long time to give them that first bath, our first bath and it's because our pediatrician was just saying that they're not really dirty. But everyone does it something different. Yeah, I mean, I, I breastfed and sweat all over my children. Motherhood is great. And so, and my kids would come out looking like just dripping with my sweat. They definitely got. They needed a bath. They, did, they got a little baby bath. Like they need a yeah. wipe down after that. Ever seen a volcano erupt? Yeah, that happened to my son's butt at the doctor's office. Oh, at least you were at the doctor's office. It happened while the baby was probably getting weighed. Yes, oh. but can you imagine the and doctor? Just like, yeah, has to see that all the time. Oh man, I mean, right? That's, That's like so an occupational brutal. hazard. Like mid diaper change in a bathroom stall at a restaurant with only one wipe. Massive blowout, mid diaper change, bathroom stall at a restaurant and you have one wipe. That sounds like a really bad time. I feel like that happened to me. What are you gonna do with the one wipe? I'll tell you what I did. I tried to make sure that everyone was out of the bathroom. How? I, Evacuate. I feel like usually when I'm at restaurants with babies, it was like in the morning, it was brunch, and there weren't like a ton of people at the restaurant, I definitely got that wipe and I rinsed out the poopy in the sink and then I went back in and reused it a couple of times. And then I, wow. I gave up and then I got paper towels and mm. wet those and, and cleaned the rest and that's what happened. Okay, my approach would have been different. My approach is to get a wipe. The one wipe, this is your last wipe. One wipe, last wipe. And luckily, it's an honest wipe. This is a pretty big wipe. And I'm going corner by corner. I'm wiping every piece. And I'm just, I'm going twice. And then I'm going this side. I'm doing every oh, single okay. piece. So you fold every, it into I fold itself. Fold it into itself. Oh, okay. And I'm wiping it again. But if I have two diapers, then I'm golden. Yeah, I'm using use the, the diaper. diaper. Yeah, I'm using yeah, yeah. the diaper to catch most of the, the, the situation. Heavy the diaper underneath then becomes dirty. 
as you're scooping, like as you're taking off the Sometimes it does, okay. but you'd rather their butt be on a clean diaper than a changing table that everybody's ass has been on. It's nice to have that extra diaper under there for protection, for speed. I never really valued that technique until this moment. Efficiency isn't your thing, Lizzie. Ah. Efficiency isn't your thing, but guess what is my thing? Efficiency. I actually love having these alcohol wipes mm -hmm. in my car, at the office. Yes. Um, Nowadays, in my bag, though. it's great. Also, when I'm going to the grocery, yes. it's just very it simple job and it done. gets the job done. Um, and it's made without the fragrance, parabens, um, phen phenooxithanol. This phen is when it's really the Made without mm. that. This. Right here. This. Right there. This is the dry wipes. Dry wipes are great for newborn babies' tushies for any kind of sensitive areas. These are just great to have around. You can use them dry, you can use them wet, and they're organic cotton, and they're just awesome. <laughs> Honest wipes, these are like a classic item. These are a cult favorite people. We sell out of our wipes in all of the designs, and even in these all the time. People are just obsessed. Plant-based ingredients, over 99% water, and you're getting thick, big, and cute. What's in your diaper bag? Which ones? I always have the 36 count in my diaper bag, in my backpack. The perfect size. Mm -hmm. This is my go-to. What's in your car? In my car, I have alcohol wipes and I have a 72 count. What's at home? At home, I have many 72 counts. Drawer at the office. I have the alcohol wipes and I have the, usually the design like rose blossom. There you go, you got it. All right, are we ready for the speed round? Speed round. Let's do this. Getting peed on en route to the bath, then cleaning up a blowout while she's in the bath. Oh. My son, when he was two, got my red lipstick and put it all over his face, hands, and everything. God, no. Out our bedroom and chocolate syrup that he had snuck out of the fridge. Do you have chocolate syrup? I not. I don't think so. Like I didn't even know people that many people had chocolate syrup. Mm -hmm. Definitely I mean, start with the wife. Start with the with the kids. Start yeah, with the yeah, yeah. With the For kids, sure. the start wife. wife. One hundred percent. You're good there. Uh, I thought my baby was napping. Nope, he was painting with his poop all over the crib. I might even do this with a little bit of water. To kind of like, Initially. just kind of like, yeah, just kind of like, you know, get in there. What's next? My two year old decided to draw all over the walls with lip balm. Yeah, you can do regular wipes. Blowout diaper in the back of a rental car. No change in that wipe. She used the map in the car. She used the map in the car to clean the big booty diaper blowout. Did she, wear, did she use it to clean? In a she, rental? Did she use it to clean or she used it as a, a changing pad? She said she didn't have any wipes. Said, have wipes. Which wipes should she have? Oh, I mean, no. the regular I mean, wipes. Come on. So 10 month old threw up inside my husband's shoes two hours into a flight to Canada. That's harsh. I mean, listen, I'm glad you brought the shoe. That was very respectful. Full of you. Right. Yeah. You know, because you could have literally just, that could have just gone all over the plane. Yeah. So the fact that I think you crap. wash the shoe with soap and water in the sink. In the in the air in the airplane? Yeah. So your shoe's soaking wet. All I'm saying is it's either soaking wet with vomit or it's soaking wet with and clean. And then you take off, take it all apart as much as you can, said shoe. So you take out the insole, you open it up, if it has laces, take them out, and you kind of open the whole situation up and you leave it underneath the seat. For the duration of the flight, it's what, 12 hours? Two hours in, you got 10 hours for this sucker to dry. It'll be damp, but you know what? It won't smell like vomit anymore. I don't want my whole shoe wet. Your shoe's wet with vomit. How much vomit was it? All the vomit. I don't know. That's a wet shoe, and it stinks. So you're just gonna let it sit there? My daughter has puked inside of her shoes. She puked on herself and it went inside the shoes. And I had to wash it. Yo, oh, kids, I really gotta talk to your kids. They puke a lot. They really puke a lot. You got a lot of puke stories. I do, and you know what? Their father pukes a lot too. <laughs> so I blame him. Wow. If you're a part of the Alba Warren household, <laughs> this video has exposed all your <laughs>
All right, guys, this has been our yeah. wipes episode. Thank you for uh, tuning in. This is the wipes, dude. You can use these wipes for anything. She's just gone over them over and over. And the yes. reason why is because they are good and they all do serve distinct, very different, different purposes. Yeah. Yes, and I think. You kind of need them all in your life. I mean, I do. Uh, as a honest family, um, that we use all of these wipes consistently and on a regular basis. And can go from, clearly, our cheeks to uh, your baby's cheeks, which she has clearly defined. Yeah, but not cheek in cheek that cheek. order. That's gross. When you say cheek to cheek, do you mean butt cheek to butt cheek? You can you use it from cheek to butt cheek. cheek to face cheek. Oh, you can so use it on body. all the cheeks. So that's what you mean. And you everything in between. To cheek. cheek to cheek. Now you know what cheek to cheek really mm -hmm. means. So make sure you subscribe, like, comment down below. Bye guys. <laughs> Bye.